Good morning. I'm Pastor Larry Kirkpatrick. I'd like to look with you today at, at Psalm 128. There's just about six verses here. Here's what they say. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat the labor of your hands, you shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house, your children like olive plants all around your table. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you out of Zion, and may you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Yes, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. So there it is, Psalm 128. And the theme that unites it is the theme of of uh, fearing the Lord, respecting him, uh, having a respect and a trust for God. If we are walking in his ways, if we are finding out what his ways are and going that way, uh, the Lord will bless us. And we'll see this kind of prosperity, the labor of our hands. Uh, there will be a, a, a general happiness in our life. There will be happiness in our family. Our, our spouse, our wife will be like a fruitful vine. Our children uh, will be doing fairly well. And so this is what it says, verse four, behold, thus shall the man, behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. And then, of course, verse five and six is the call for blessing. The Lord bless you out of Zion and may you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life and see your children's children. So the Lord will help us, but there is a part for us. There is a part for us fearing the Lord. Not phobia fearing him, uh, but respecting him. Letting God be God while you and I just be people. And if we fear him, he will come through for us. He will certainly do all that is in his, his opportunities to do it. So, well, you're 90% there, right there. But then there's human free will. But that's another story. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we are not learning well in our culture, in our day, how to fear you, how to respect and honor you as the fact that you are indeed creator God. You are the savior God. You're the one. Help us, Lord, to, to put you and your ways first, and then all the blessings that come with that will come, and they'll come through us. Some of them will come through us to, to our own families. And Lord, we will be so blessed that you are putting out your blessing for us. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day. The Lord be with you.